For I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like you. Do you feel tired of writing the same Vex lines again and again? Does your family and friends make fun of you since you keep forgetting the right syntax? Do you feel like an outcast of society since you rather use Vex than using a perfectly fine SOP node? Then I have the right tool for you. The DK Wrangle is the latest result of high technology research. Basically, it's just a wrangle, but it has a feature many have waited for. Save your dang code presets with the option to categorize them. At least that was what I was being told. Can anyone explain what it does? This wrangle tool has a simple but helpful interface to interact with a JSON file. Let me demonstrate how it works. Let's build a simple scene where this might come in handy. We have some kind of target geometry displayed by our trusty pig head. The premise of this little exercise is that we have an origin point that we can control with the transform node. And we want to get the distance from that origin to the closest position on the geometry. Don't even think about suggesting different methods. We use a wrangle. You hear me? A wrangle. But instead of using the normal wrangle node, we use the tool of today. The DK wrangle. First, let me put the nodes into a merge so that we can see them. Underneath this asset is nothing more than a normal wrangle, but it has an additional feature. It has a Python module that is able to interact with a JSON file. In that file, you can store code snippets of any kind, ordered and categorized by context and category. So what do I mean by that? And especially, how does that help us in a project? In this simple example, I wanted the closest distance. And what a surprise, I needed that in the past and saved it as a snippet. So I open the load from file tab and here I pick my file, the file that is basically my snippet database. Together with the tool, I provided a starter file on Patreon to get you going while I am currently building a bigger file containing all functions and whatever useful code snippets I ever used. When you decide to use this tool for yourself, it makes sense to save the tool with your file as default. As soon as the file is picked, the drop-down menus are loaded with its content. And for this situation, I have the context, custom code. In it, there is the category, utility. Right at the top of the list, I find what I need at the moment, the distance to closest position. The description of the snippet or the selected function is then displayed below the menus. This is what I wanted, so I press insert. A good and simple template on how to get the desired distance value. For my case, I just need to put the point position into that variable. That's the distance, but I also want to see if it works. I often use a quick print command for debugging. I use that so often, it makes sense to have a preset for that as well. Hit insert again, and you may have noticed that the code goes to the bottom of the wrangle, into the next line from where my cursor was last. Now I just need to type in what I actually want to print, my dist variable, and here we are. But this tool is obviously only helpful with a library of snippets that you use often and are just a pain to type again and again. For that, you can very simply add more snippets to the file. You can do that in the JSON file itself or more convenient right here within the asset. Let's say I feel that this combination of distance and print is useful for me and I want to save more time. Open the save to file folder. Here I stay on the Save Entry tab and choose the context and category where this is supposed to be saved. Custom code and utility does fit. I call it Distance Debug and give it a good description. Press Save Entry and I get a message that it was saved. Let's take a look if that worked like it should. We assume we created a new Wrangle node at a later time. I revert to default settings for that. Again, saving your own file as default makes sense. Choose the file, the context and category. And now we have another snippet in the list, the distance debug preset. Saving new entries from the asset itself is more convenient since it also saves your used format. Besides the snippet, you can create more categories and also more contexts. The dropdowns in the save menu are making sure that a category is always related to an existing context. Another point to be aware of, the save folder has its own file path. I wanted to make sure that you can save to a new file if you wanted to. When choosing the loading file, it sets it as the output file as default. But you can change that at will. 
Now, if you change anything, it does not happen to the original file. For example, if we add another context to a new file, we can see that the old one still only has the origin too. The new file, however, has now three. Besides what you have already seen, I filled a couple of functions that I feel are used often. Some array and attribute functions, the cross and dot product. These often are very short and don't really save time, but could be a quick help if you are not sure what the parameters of a given function were. That's what I want to deliver with the bigger file, a beginner-friendly template library with annotations. But I see the real benefit of this tool in saving bigger and more complex codings without littering the default preset menu of the Houdini UI. Bigger logic blocks like loops or nested if branches are useful templates, but I am thinking more of the big ones. I covered polar coordinates and the super formula in the past, and I like what you can do with it. There is no way I type that again, so having a central place for reusable code is something that I wanted for myself. Besides the addition of loading and saving, the node works like any other wrangle. You still can switch between point or detail or use the group parameter. And of course, you can also use the icon to generate the spare parameters. This tool is available to my dev team on Patreon. You will find the link in the description. There you have it, a tool that enables you to become a coder that ascends to his highest form, a coder that never types a line again and forgets everything he ever learned. Be advised, use of this tool may lead to loss of muscle memory and subscribe to this channel for heaven's sake. Hey.